What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from 2pan. Today I have their 2pan 7 port hub for MacBooks. Uh, so specifically probably MacBook Pros. I don't want to give you guys uh, the range or models of MacBook Pros because that could always change over time but I'll have a link down below in the description to the Amazon page if you guys want to check it out to see the most up to date when it comes to which products this will work with. But it's basically a USB type C hub that uh, retails for under 50 bucks. Like I said, I'll have a link in the, uh, in the description to if you guys are interested in purchasing that to make that really easy for you to find. But for those of you that are MacBook Pro owners, you know that a USB Type-C hub is pretty much mandatory at this point. You can't really plug anything into it uh, unless it's a USB Type-C or Thunderbolt. So if you have hard drives or even if you want to connect it to a U HDMI for a monitor and things like that, you're gonna have to have this type of hub in order to be able to connect to that. So let's take it out of the box and show you all the ports and things that come with this hub. Okay, so here we have the hub itself. As you can see, it is super small, super lightweight, very easy to just keep in your camera bag and your laptop bag, whatever it is that you have this in. It's very tiny. And because it doesn't have any extra wires or anything, there's nothing else you have to include with it because it obviously, as you can tell, it does have the two Thunderbolt or USB Type-C ports on the side of there. So it will take up two ports on your MacBook Pro. Uh, this will work with 13 inch and 15 inch MacBook Pros. I'm gonna show you guys on my uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro in a second, having it plugged in there. So it does take up two ports but it will give you those ports back. So as you can see right here, we have a Thunderbolt. As you can see the symbol right there. So we do have the Thunderbolt port coming back right there. And then we do have a USB Type-C on the bottom right there. So besides those two ports, we have an LED light to let you know it is uh, working when it, everything's plugged in. We have two USB 3.0 ports. If you have like hard drives or thumb, uh, thumb drives and things like that, that only work with that uh, type of port. On the end right here, we have a HDMI, and this is 4K uh, compatible, so you can use a, if you have a monitor that, that is 4K or if you want to hook this up to a television, you can do so, and that will support 4K. Um, I was gonna mention something else. Oh yeah, because the fact that it is plugged, it, it, it does plug in right into the side. I kind of like how the HDMI port is in the back. So usually, you know, obviously, when it's plugged into your laptop, like over here, you'll have the port coming from behind. I've used other uh, other hubs and such that have the HDMI like on the bottom or on the side, and it, it's always kind of weird to kind of work the wire in there when this is like so much easier because it's pointing to the back of the laptop, which is pretty much where you would have the USB or the HDMI cable plugging into that. Uh, besides that, only other ports we have on here besides those uh, USBs and the USB Type-C and Thunderbolt is a SD card and a mini SD slot. So definitely a must have if you guys are photographers, video shooters, um, as you know, you can't just plug in here. Uh, well, you could plug your camera into the into your computer if it does US, USB Type-C, but more often than not, I'm popping out SD cards and just put them into here. So this is something I keep with me at all times inside of my laptop bag and in my camera bag. I have actually have two different types of these little hubs that make that really easy. So I can just pop out the SD card whether I'm using it for my recorder, my video recorder, or on my, my camera, I should say, or my audio recorder. So that makes it really easy. So I'm gonna pop it onto the laptop so you guys can see what it looks like when it's plugged into a MacBook Pro. All right, so here we have the hub. I'm gonna plug it right in. As you can see, you have to be mindful that when you are gonna be wanting to use this hub with your laptop, you cannot have a case on the MacBook. So if you have a plastic case, like a cover that goes, that wraps around it, this this port, this hub needs to be completely flush up against the MacBook. So you will not be able to use this hub with a MacBook that has a case on it. So so one thing to keep in mind when you're using it. Also, whenever you're using this, don't make, make sure that this, this little hub is not hanging off the edge of a table because it, there, it could be easily be able to break this off if you put, put weight on it or bend down on it. Those two prongs that are holding it into place could possibly get damaged. And you, I guess you suppose you could damage the MacBook as well. But I think more often than not, you'd probably mess up the hub and then you'd break your hub and it probably wouldn't work anymore. It is basically close to the ground. There's a little bit of play in there, as you can see, but not very much. So it's practically touching the ground. Of course, the MacBook Air is curved, like the bottom surface of this is curved but whenever it basically evens out, it's pretty much almost touching the ground. So that's what it looks like when it's plugged in there. Like I said, it will take up those two ports, but it does give you those two ports back on the side right there for Thunderbolt and USB Type-C on the side. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention about this hub that I really appreciated was it does not heat up as badly as some of the other hubs I've used in the past. A lot of the times in these USB Type-C hubs, when you plug them in for an extended period of time, they get super duper hot. Like you can't even barely touch it for very long because it's like, it's gonna burn your finger. Uh, this one, I, it made me a little bit worried because I thought that well was gonna be the case. And the fact that it's touching your iPad, your uh, MacBook, it makes me a little nervous. If it does get super hot, it's actually making contact with your MacBook. But I noticed this one doesn't get hot hardly at all. It heats up a little bit, obviously, but nothing near as hot as the other hubs I've played around with. So I think that's really good that they were able to do that with this particular hub. 
and that's pretty much it guys so super small lightweight easy to travel with easy to keep in your bag under 50 bucks uh, i'll put a link down below in the description if you guys are interested in checking this product out if you guys want to see one of some of my other video reviews i have on my channel you can click on either one of those clips right there and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my future reviews as they come out and i will see you guys in the next video review